All right, in this video, we're going to very quickly show you the basics of adding JavaScript to a page in Apex um, with the commands to get set and output to the log, which are the core things anyone would need to get started. So to, to begin today, we're going to go ahead and create a blank page. On the page, we're going to create a new region. In the region, we're going to put a couple things. We're going to put uh, two text fields. Uh, one text field we'll use for width, and the other we'll use for height. Last but not least, we're going to put a button. And we're actually going to set this button uh, to be defined by dynamic action, meaning that we're going to fire JavaScript when the button is clicked. All right, so to get started, uh, what we're going to do is show you the one place you, you probably want to consider putting JavaScript, or you may need to, is to execute when the page, page loads. So you can click over here on the top, go into execution when page loads. And to show you how this works, we're just going to simply uh, add a, a, a console.log debug message here to show you, you know, hey, you can run some code here on page load. Let's go ahead and take a look. If you're new, you can open up the console to see the output simply by inspecting. Uh, you can see that it ran right here, but I'll go ahead and refresh. All right, we can see that it fired. Now, that it, now what we're going to do here is go back and I'll show you a second place you can add some JavaScript code, uh, which is to create a dynamic action that will happen when the submit button is pressed. So we're going to go up here and set this to execute some JavaScript code. Go ahead and open this. Uh, the first thing we're going to do in our code today is uh, we're going to output a message that will show when the code is firing. And then we'll show you the, the very basics, right? How do I get a variable, right? There's two syntaxes you can use, the JavaScript API that you see here, uh, or the, the, the uh, jQuery API that you see here. And we're going to just output those uh, two messages to the log. So if I go back to my form, I'll do a refresh. I've got the numbers uh, 111 here, so I'll go ahead and hit Submit. Now, when I hit submit over here, uh, we can see that the, the output down here, we outputted the, it got the variables and, and put it on the page. Uh, now we're going to do the, the next common thing, which is how do you set a variable, right? So if we go back here, uh, just like you see above, there's kind of two ways to set a variable. This JavaScript syntax or the jQuery syntax. So we'll go ahead and add this, and we're going to set the items to 222. Press submit. There we go. So when you get started with J uh, JavaScript in Apex, uh, this is just a simple tutorial to help you get off the ground and running quicker.